overall, I have big, big music news for you today. Uh, I am Domo and I will meet you. Nah, nah, nah. No, okay. Um, hey guys. Um, it's Alex again. I yes, I'm wearing a fancy shirt this episode. You might think that's a bit dirty. Anyway, um, today there has been a big announcement for people who like the band Paramore. Um, in Australia, sorry, not like world over. They're not releasing a new album or anything like that. Soon, maybe they are. I don't know. That's not what I'm talking about. Anyway, basically, they have um, been announced to do a tour in Australia. Um, it looks like here. Yeah, they're doing a national tour, um, which is pretty cool. So they get to go. They're going to Adelaide and Perth, um, who sometimes usually miss out because they're you know. Anyway, um, I won't speak badly of them because people from there might be watching this and I don't want to ostracise any viewers. So, yeah, um, hi people from Perth and Adelaide. I like you just as much as everyone else. But if you're from Tasmania, you can fuck off. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you're not from the mainland and that makes you different. Um... In a bad way. In a kind of sister, family, loving, brother way. Um, anyway, sorry, I do go off on tangents, and you've probably noticed that if you've watched any of my other videos. This is only about my fifth video, or sixth video I've made so far. I only started yesterday, so, you know, again, excuse that. Um, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I'm just going to say that if I do make any fuck up, sorry, I just stall for a bit. That's the reason, okay? Not an excuse, it's the truth. This is unedited, there you go. Alright, on with the show. Um, so yeah, they're, they're touring in October. Tickets go on sale um, Friday, 2nd of July. So not next Friday, but the Friday after. The dates are, listen carefully, Sunday the 10th of October at Perth's Challenge Stadium. Um, that's all ages. Get your tickets from ticketmaster.com.au. Um... The second, uh, the twelfth of October. That's a Tuesday. Adelaide Entertainment Centre. All ages again. Um, tickets from Ticket Tech this time, not Ticketmaster. Wednesday, the thirteenth of October. Uh, Melbourne by Music Bowl. Licensed all ages again. You can get your tickets from theartscentre.com.au or Ticketmaster.com.au. And then um, Friday, fifteenth of October. Sydney Entertainment Centre. All ages again. Obviously, you'd know that if you lived in Sydney. Um, from Ticketmaster again. Um, and again, from Ticketmaster is um, Sunday the 17th of October in Brisbane at the River Stage. And that's all ages as well. So yeah, and, oh, you can also get that from stores called Rocking Horse Music and the Kill Music Music Stores, Record Stores, whatever you want to call them, in Brisbane. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, they came out here earlier the this year for Soundwave, I think, was it? No, I'm pretty sure it was this year. And I didn't go because I went to the one that was originally in Sydney Park and that was a shitstorm. Um, and we didn't end up getting it. That was when The Offspring and, like, Incubus headlined and that was sort of just for fun. So, yeah, um, get along to that if you can. Um, it will probably be good, obviously, if you like Power More, then go along. You know, they did that song that was on um, the Twilight soundtrack and that sort of brought them out um, from obscurity into the mainstream. But, you know, they are actually a really good live band. I saw them before any of that because my girlfriend um, used to, like, love, love, love them and really, like, love them from their album called Riot, which is a few couple of albums back um, and even before that. But that was the one that sort of got them even more fans back from when they were as well known as being on the, you know, the Twilight soundtrack and then they have the album that's out now called, um, um, my iTunes library will load. Jeez, I've got great general knowledge. No, what's that? Brand New Eyes, that's the one. Yes, that's the one with the, the butterfly on the front. Sorry, that looks really gay. Um, anyway, yes, we... I'll play a track from that just so that you get the gist of it. Oh, come on. 
sorry, um, iTunes did a, a thing and I would play it from there. Actually, I can probably play it from iTunes. No. Um, sorry about this. I will just give me a sec. Okay, I'll talk about something else and then I'll come back to it. Um, yes, technology. And here's one thing that I, I've got. I had this a little while ago. It's a little um, sort of Polaroid, but it's a f made by Fujifilm camera from Japan. You can get this on Amazon. My beautiful girlfriend went along and put all these stickers on it, so I had to write my name on it. It's kind of come off, and I drew like a little thing on the side. But that didn't really work. Um, and so, yeah, I'll show you the kind of photos it does. I'll take one of myself right now. Um, Okay, we'll just wait for that to come out. It's like that, and then it has to um, develop, so you flip it upside down. Don't shake it too much if you have one of these. And yeah, the, um, apparently Fuji has taken over Polaroid, um, the actual company, and Lady Gaga is actually the, um, the creative director for the new line of Polaroid slash Fuji film cameras that are coming out. You're going to have the option of both taking an instant Polaroid and having a little, you know, screen on the back here or here or wherever um, that will actually show you a digital copy so that when you get home, it's not on this one because this is just purely the manual one because I got this a little while ago before the other ones came out. Um, you know, you plug it into your computer like you would this kind of camera and plug it in, you know, like this bit here that plugs in. You plug that bit in and it go all the way to the back of you. And then you'd be able to see it on iPhoto or, you know, whatever you have if you have a, a silly Windows-based PC. Uh, anyway, yes, I don't like PCs. Um, yeah, so that's pretty effing cool. Um, another thing that has come to my attention, that has been out for a little while. Hold on, I'll just be back. Is this? This is an HD um, video camera. So you turn it on as such on the side. Okay. So hold on. It's videoing me at the moment. I can probably say that. Hold on. I need to zoom in a bit too much. Anyway. Hello. Well, it's not filming me, but I can make it. Hi. Wait. Anyway, the country it's probably too bright for the thing. Anyway, hello. Um, I'll stop that. Um, and yeah, well that's really cool because it's HD and it's tiny. This is, you know, the, here's my hand and this is the size of the thing. So, and the thickness also. It's quite thin. Um, and yeah. The really cool thing about this is, how do you, how do you think you plug this into um into your computer? And it doesn't seem to have an input for wires. No, you don't use that. You use da, 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 this. Yes, it's a USB stick, and it goes directly from the hard drive of the of the camera. And when you turn it off, you just plug it right into your camera. Uh, your computer, sorry, and that's how it works. Oh, my button just gone away. So yeah, um, that's really effing cool. And yes, the um, another thing that's come out recently, yes, the iPhone 4, amazing. It has all these different features, and I just went to the Optus store today, and they're like, I was just sort of like, oh, when do you guys think you'll have it? And they're like, oh, probably July, you know, early July if there are no you know, hold backs like they were for the iPad. Um, he says, watch the iPhone 4 video. So, let's have a look at this. Come on. I can't really. iPhone 4 is so much more.